And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Gene Autry Baseball Complex in Mesa, Arizona. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage in the 2016 Holiday Classic. And we are underway in an upper-class division championship game. It features the Arizona Dirtbags against Mountain Lion Baseball. And it's Ty Mead leading off for the Dirtbags. They're the designated visiting club. Each team went undefeated through pool play, but I think uh, maybe based on runs allowed, the uh, Dirtbags, the lower seed. Swing and a foul tip into the glove, and a strikeout gets things started as Mead is out number one. Mason Peart, the starting pitcher for the uh, Mountain Lion Baseball Club, and he gets a strikeout to get things underway. Joe Riley bats second for the Dirtbags, then Blaze Borowski hits third, Peyton McGregor is fourth, Matt Hall bats fifth, Christian Jacob is sixth, Anthony Caravello is seventh, J.J. Grolich bats eighth, Dylan Scow is ninth, and Max Walker hits tenth. Slow tamper over to the third baseman picked up there, and a throw on to first base is in time, two away. And that'll bring up Borowski. Set the defense for the Mountain Lions then. It's Brendan James in left field, Zach Roth in center field, Jack, uh, make it Jake Rubson in right. And then Spencer Kamen at third base, the shortstop, Luke Blackett. Jason Heretta plays second base, Josh Sandoval at first. Catcher is Hammond Madera, and I mentioned Mason Peart, the starting pitcher. Two outs, bases empty. Just getting going here in the first inning. That ball bounced in, and it's 2 0. Pitch over for a strike. The count goes to 2 and 1. And that's off the end of the bat. Slow roll around to the second baseman, and a throw on to first is in time, and it's a three up, three down top of the first inning. After a half inning of play, dirt bags nothing. Mount Lions coming up. Jason Herrera leads off for the Mount Lions, going after the first pitch, fouls it out of play. Pitch a strike in its own two. Breaking ball bounced in, one ball and two strikes. And a pitch over the outside corner, a cold third strike. And Hereta. Out on strikes, one away in the inning. The batter, Spencer Encampman. Preston Godfrey will bat third for the Mountain Lions. Jack Diekman is fourth. Jake Robson bats fifth. And Josh Sandoval sixth at first base. Luke Black at the shortstop bats seventh. Zach Roth in center field hits eighth. And a ground ball over to third. And on to first base in time. And that's out number two. First one to Godfrey on the outside quarter, a strike. So I mentioned Blackett batting seventh, Zach Roth eighth, Hammond Madeira the catcher ninth, Brendan James the left fielder bats tenth. One ball, two strikes, the count on Godfrey. And a pitch. 
High pop-up, first base side. It's Browski, the first baseman in fair territory, makes the catch, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, go the Mountain Lions, and after one, there's no score. Couple of pitches into this second inning. Peyton McGregor at the plate for the dirt bags. And another pitch fouled away. Big curveball over but high. And a high fly ball down the right field line up against the fence. And uh, not able to haul it in there. It goes as a foul ball and it stays two and two. Matt Hall and Christian Jacob follow for the Dirtbags in the second. And a fastball off the plate. Three and two account on McGregor. Swing and a miss. McGregor strikes out. One away in the inning. Second strikeout for Mason Peart. And the batter is Matt Hall. First pitch, knee high for a strike to Hall. And a grounder foul over by the third base dugout, and it's 0-2. Each team three up and three down in the first inning. Lead off hitter retired here in the second for the Dirtbags. Here looking in now into the one and the 0 2. And that pitch is low for a ball, one and two. And lost that one there. It came out early, two and two the count. This game originally scheduled for a 5:15 first pitch, and our first pitch came across at 5:57. So pitch misses, and it's three and two. And as it turns out, the uh, game prior to this one, 3:15 first pitch start, and that one uh, got started pretty good, 3:16. So you know, just a minute off. But uh, it was also a championship game in the underclass division. And they had reached their time limit, but the game was tied at six, so they had to go to a tiebreaker inning. They only played five in the uh, time that was allotted. So the sixth inning became a tiebreaker inning as that pitch misses for a ball. And we have our first base runner. It's a one-out walk for Matt Hall. Hall to first base, and the batter is Christian Jacob. <laughs> and 
And first one to Jacob across for a strike. So that's their earlier game than the five innings that they completed that uh, ended with a tie score. That uh, had taken up just about the full two hours at that point. So that put us to 5.15 and uh, still had to have a winner, so took another inning. And by the time uh, you get a little changeover, teams in and out of the dugouts, a little time to warm up, play catch, and all that, it uh, turned into almost a 6 o'clock start, nearly 45 minutes late as the uh, pitch is low, bounced in there and blocked, and the count goes to 1 and 2. And a ground ball, snared on a backhand spin and a throw to first base in time. Spencer Campman with uh, a couple of nice uh, plays there, really, as uh, first he has to field a hard shot on the backhand and then did a spin and then threw a strike over to first base. So two away in the inning for Anthony Caravalla. The runner Hall did go from first to second, of course, on the play. So he's in scoring position with two outs. And Caravalla rolls one out to the second baseman who fields, and that's on to first base in time. And the dirt bags are turned away. A 4-3 ground out ends the inning as Herrera throws out Caravalla, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, a one-out walk, and a runner left at second after an inning and a half. No score. And we get underway. Jack Diekman is taking a strike. And the next one over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Tiekman, Robson, Sandoval. Now one ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Bottom dropped down to the pitch there. Ball also got down in the dirt and in front of the catcher. So a throw on to first base, and the... Lead off and retired. Deakman out. 2-3 on the put out. It's a strikeout to start the inning. And the batter is Jake Robeson. And a hard hit ground ball picked up on a couple of bounces and a short hop, but a throw across to first base is in time. Two away. Caravallo with a nice play. The batter is Josh Sandoval. Sandoval trying to get it started for the Mountain Lions. Five up and five down. Going after the first pitch. Pops it up and out of play over on the first base side. That's strike one. No score bottom of the second inning. I mentioned five up and five down for the Mountain Lions. Dirtbags haven't done much better. Got a one-out base runner in the second by way of a walk. But left that runner on. And a breaking ball. Catches the inside corner of strike, and it's 0-2. Grounded over toward first base. Picked up there. A tap of the bag at first. And the side has retired. Another three up, three down inning after two. No score. Eight, nine, and ten in the order for the dirt bags. J.J. Growlich takes high for ball one. Scowan Walker to follow. And a hard hit ball into a straightaway center field, but already shaded that away. And Roth there for the catch, one away. And 
Dylan Scout. Takes a fastball outside for ball one. Ground ball out towards second. Picked up and on to first base it goes. And in plenty of time, a 4-3 ground out, two away in the inning. Max Walker will try to get it started. He takes low ball one. Strike in the count of one and one. And another pitch over for a strike, one and two the count. Two balls and two strikes. Two and two on Walker. Two outs. Base is empty. No score here in the top of the third. And Peart with a pitch and a ground ball foul outside of first base. Pitch low and it's three and two. And a ground ball. Cut off. Set the feet. Throw to first base. Safe. And off the bag. The call over at first base. So Walker hustles to get down the line. Uh, with the hustle there, that uh, maybe goes as an infield base hit. It was a long way to go for the third baseman, Campman, and then try to rifle that throw over to first. Now to the top of the order for Ty Mead. And the first pitch over for a strike. Pitch high, one and one they count. Meade struck out his first time up. Meade lays off on a pitch inside and maybe low, and the count goes to two and one. Walker lifted for a runner over there at first. The runner takes off, ball in the dirt, and no chance for a throw. It's Scow running at second, and he gets the stolen base. And the pitch high for ball four. Meade lost track of the count as he had a look back at the plate umpire before he took off for first base. So now two aboard with two outs for Joe Riley.
And Riley with a shot back up the middle and into center field. Runner will be waved around. Here comes a throw to the plate, and he's out by a bunch. Throw a little bit off the mark. And uh, thought about holding Scow at third base, but instead Roth with the uh, bullet to the plate. Throws out the base runner and ends the inning. Dirt bags with base runners and a couple of base hits plus a walk, but a runner thrown out at the plate and they fail to score in the top of the third after two and a half. Still no score. Luke Blackett leads off for the Mountain Lions in the bottom of the third inning. Takes ball one from Max Walker. Balls and a strike. And now swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Roth and Madeira follow for the Mountain Lions in the third. And a ball fouled out of play. Is looking for their first base runner. Three up, three down in the first, and again in the second. And a 2 2, and that's a line shot into right field. That's a fair ball. And there is the first base runner as the throw comes back in. So the Mount Lions shortstop, Luke Blackett with a base hit. And the batter is Zach Roth. And Roth with a line drive. That's into left center field for a base hit. Blackett stops at second. And now two aboard with nobody out. So something cooking here for the Mountain Lions in the bottom of the third. No score in this upper class division championship game, the 2016 Holiday Classic put on by Southwest Woodback Classics. Now yeah, Madeira in and ready. Once to Walker, and the throw on to first base is in time. So Madeira does his job, gets the bunt down, 1-4 on the sacrifice. Those runners to second and third with one out for Brendan James. And the dirt bags bring the infield in. They come on the uh, grass. And now swing and a miss, and they count one and one. The one one pitch. Popped up, and that's out of play on the first base side. The count goes to one and two. And this is just a little bit low, and a check swing there for James. So they count two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and James strikes out, two away in the inning. Third strikeout for 
Max Walker. And we go to the top of the mountain lion order for Jason Herrera. Herrera going after the first pitch, fouls it to the backstop for a strike. Herrera called out on strikes his first time up. Trying to cash in a couple of base runners in scoring position here in the home half of the third. Takes a pitch over the outside corner for a strike, and it's 0-2. Fouled out of play down the left side. Another 0-2 from Walker. Broke his bat and a slow ground ball toward the second baseman on to first. That ball's thrown away. And a couple of runs will score. And now time called. Well, Jacob came charging in, knew he had to get rid of it in a hurry, kind of a do or die play. And the throw gets away. Turned out to not be very close to the first baseman Borowski at all. So a couple of runs in for the Mountain Lions in the third. They lead 2-0, and now the batter Spencer and Campman with a runner at first and two down. And the first pitch low, ball one. And a swing and a miss, and they count one and one. Over for a strike, one and two the count. Walker ready. With the runner going, the pitch low, throw to second base, and the throw beats the runner by a bunch, and Hereta is thrown out. Two six on a caught stealing, and that ends the inning, but uh, Mountain Lions jump in front. They get a couple of unearned runs in the bottom of the third inning. They do it on two hits, one error, and no runners left on after three. Mountain Lions lead the Dirtbags two to nothing. Three, four, and five of the order. Borowski going after the first pitch. Chopper over toward third. Really kind of in the hole, but cut off by the third baseman, Campman, and then he fires the first one pitch and one out in the dirtbag fourth inning. That brings up Peyton McGregor. Gregor going after the first pitch, bounces one to the shortstop and on to first base in time. Blackett throws out McGregor, two pitches and two outs, and the batter Matt Hall. One a hall high for ball one. And the ball grounded foul. The can goes to one and one. Pitch off the plate. Two and one to count on hall. Two outs and the base is empty, top of the fourth. Dirt bags down 2 nothing. And that pitch misses for a ball, 3-1. and one. A 
And a ground ball. Foul just outside of third. Pop up in foul territory. Long run and just out of the reach. Good effort there by the catcher Madeira, but just couldn't get there. High and off the glove, ball four, and Hall makes his way to first base. That brings up Christian Jacob. High pop up in the infield and called for and played just in fair territory by the pitcher Peer and he does it himself and that ends the inning. No runs, no hits, two out walk and a runner left at first. That's four runners left on for the Dirtbags through four and after three and a half innings they still trail by a score of two to nothing. Spencer Campman going after the first pitch. It's a pop-up on the left side of the infield, put away by Carvalho. And one pitch and one out. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning for the Mountain Lions, batter is Preston Godfrey. First pitch on the outside corner, a strike. Next pitch low, one and one the count. And a hard ground ball that's up the middle and into center field, a base hit, Godfrey. Board at first base and one for two on the day. That'll bring up Jack Diekman. Throw over to first base, not in time as Walker wants to keep Godfrey close here, try to keep that double play in order. First pitch plate where it bounced in, ball one. And the next pitch at the knees, a strike, one and one the count. A couple of unearned runs for the Mountain Lions in the bottom of the third inning. And runners at second and third with two outs and a slow hit ground ball. Was fielded, but then a throw to first base way off the mark, and that allowed a couple of runs to score. Dinkman fouled that last pitch out of play. One and two the count. Walker ready. And a hard hit ground ball off the glove of the shortstop. Shifted his feet a couple of steps to his right, but uh, still ended up with the glove going across the body a bit. And it's an E6.
Now Robson with a ground ball through the hole and into left field a base hit. Runner held at third base and that'll load him up for the Mountain Lions in the fourth. Now Josh Sandoval. Sandoval grounded out to in the second inning, batting here with the bases full and one out. And Walker ready, first one on the way, and a swing and a miss, strike one. Fouled out of play, first base side on the count 0 and 2. Corners up for the dirt bags. Breaking ball hit on the ground. Speared it nicely there, but the throw wide of the bag at second. And the throw goes into shallow left field and a couple to run score for the Mountain Lions. And on how they drew it up, but they'll take the result for sure. Jacob made a nice play on the uh, one bouncer out to him. But he tried to go to second base and missed Meade on his way to the bag. A couple of more runs in to make it 4 to nothing in the dirt bags with a timeout. We play in the bottom of the fourth. Mountain Lions lead 4 to nothing. Look, blanket swinging at the first pitch, fouls it off down the right side. And a nice breaking ball over the inside corner of strength, and it's 0-2. There's a hard hit ball and threw it into left field, a base hit, scoring another run. RBI single for Blackett. Robson scores, or Robson. It's a three run fourth inning, now 5 0. Mount Lions with the lead, and the batter, Zach Roth. Pitch to Roth at the knees, strike one. And the next pitch low, one ball and one strike. Over four strike and again one and two. Breaking ball bounced in, two balls and two strikes. Back to second, but no throw. Two aboard, one out. Three runs in for the Mountain Lions in the fourth. And a high pop up. That'll get out of play. First base side. We'll stay two and two. High. That runs the count full three and two. Madeira next for the Mountain Lions. Man, that pitch 
into shallow left center and caught for out number two. Madeira for the Mountain Lions. Healthy cut there for Madeira, but not able to catch up, and that's strike one. And the next pitch over for a strike in the count 0 and 2. Two aboard, two outs, three runs in for the Mountain Lions in the fourth. Open it up a little bit here and trying to add more. Bounced in, runner from second takes off, throw to third base is in time. Trying to get that down angle read, but the uh, Ball ends up right near Growlich, and he fires a strike to third base to get Sandoval, and that ends the inning. But uh, three more across for the Mountain Lions in the fourth, and through four innings of play, they lead five to nothing. Now we start the fifth inning. Anthony Carvalho at the plate faces a new pitcher as Sam Pearson is on to pitch the fifth for the Mountain Lions. First one is strike. Next one driven into right field along the line and a foul ball. And so that is strike two now on Caravallo. Growlich and Scalfalo for the dirtbags. One ball and two strikes. And the pitch inside, two and two. Didn't miss by much, but uh, almost hit Carvalho. Didn't miss him by much either. The two, two. And a line shot at the uh, second baseman, but again, right at Herrera. And that's out number one. First pitch to Crowlich over four strike. Next one misses away and the count one and one. JJ with a fly ball to center field his first time up. and it's one and two. Pitch off the plate, two balls and two strikes. Misses with the next one low, three and two. And it misses for ball four. A one out walk.
Rowlich comes off for a courtesy runner. Didn't see the number, but it, uh, I'm assuming it's Caravello. He's got a pretty good lead over there at first, but uh, just kind of the one-way lead with the left-hander up as the base runner's first move was uh, back toward the bag. And now a sharply hit ground ball to the shortstop out at second. Throw wide at first base and... Uh, Going to say out at uh, first. And so a double play ends the inning. And so that will do it. Uh, first base coach asked if the base umpire could get a little help, but uh, he said that's got to come from the manager, and he's talking to the... Uh, other manager over by the third base dugout. So we uh, in the top of the fifth inning. Score remains five to nothing. We start playing the bottom of the fifth inning. Him and Madeira leading it off. He was at the plate when Sandoval was thrown out, trying to go from second to third. And the Madeira facing a new pitcher, Ty Mead, is in to pitch. Ball fouled off, and they count one and one. Several changes then for the Dirtbags defensively. We got a few of them, and we're still working on the rest as we got uh, some changes in the outfield as well. But uh, with Walker out, Mead the pitcher. And that moves Jacob from second to shortstop. There's a swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Growlich moves out uh, from behind the plate to second base. Gow comes in from center field to take over behind the plate. Pitch up and in, two balls and two strikes. Pitch high, three and two. And a high pop up over on the right side. And that ball is down. Growlich struggled with that uh, pop up out of the air and uh, just trying to get it corralled and couldn't bring it in. Brennan James. And yeah, that ball hit well into center field. And it'll get to between the outfielders for extra bases. And they throw. It's away from the middle infielder, so the runners end up at second and third. And they turn the order over again for Jason Herrera. And Herrera hits one off the end of the bat, so the third baseman play is going to be to first. That is in time. But a run in, so it's an RBI ground out. Makes it six to nothing. And now James at third with one away for Spencer Campman. Ball over for a strike. And 
fooled on a breaking ball there, and it's nothing in two. Mountain Lions two runs in the third, three in the fourth. They've plated one in the fifth. Only one of the six are earned runs. And time is called again. And a fly ball out to center field, and that's out of the glove. Borowski, the new center fielder, looked as though he got back there, and then it just uh, popped out of the glove. And all the way around to third base is Kempman. James scores to make it 7-0. Godfrey takes strike one. Infield comes in for the dirt bags. And a pop up. Left side of the infield. And that one's put away by Caravallo for out number two. Batter Jack Diekman. And Diekman shoots one into center field. That's a base hit. And an RBI single makes it eight to nothing. That's going to be the ball game. And so that will do it. I uh, knew we were getting close. I thought it was 10, but uh, I guess uh, maybe it's eight runs on the mercy rule. And so that will do it as the Mountain Lions wrap it up with three in the bottom of the fifth inning after scoring two in the third, three in the fourth, and now three in the fifth. And that will do it as the Mountain Lions are the champions in the upper class division of the 2016 Holiday Classic. Again, our final score, Mountain Lion Baseball 8. And the Dirtbags nothing from Gene Autry Baseball Complex in Mesa, Arizona. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. We hope to talk to you again soon.